United. Very talented forward player, and he left the first touch of the evening, and we are underway. A place in the last eight up for grabs for one of these clubs tonight. Making the one-two with Ben Amar, and he's got room for the cross, and good shape on it. Hooked away, though, by Murray. Now McCaffrey. Nakstad is a long way inside the... So knocked his half, might be an opportunity for them to break and that's a really good pass through and there could be a chance here for the visitors and there is a chance for the visitors on the edge of the area and well, Carl Summers it was arriving, just enough pressure applied Not to start an obvious target, he's only scored once for Dundalk, that was in the President's Cup against Shamrock Rovers Dundalk could certainly do with another one here tonight here comes the corner kick and that's a really good delivery and a really good finish as well Really good finish and Dundalk lead by a goal to nil. Excellent delivery from Sean Murray, just plenty of pace whipped into the front post and you can see Dundalk obviously worked on a little pattern there, two two pods, two at the front, two at the back and Andy Boy made an excellent run to the front post and got up first, great start but that's what they're going to need to calm their nerves and we want to see them pushing on and, and, and getting more, not just sit back like they've done the last number of weeks because again, they've nothing to fear here tonight, they'll go one down, they might go two, they'll never stop the Here's really Rivas Jarkovskis. Really, really good at that. He's close control in tight areas. Here's Sean Murray now. Murray's cross in is behind Byrne. And arriving was Han. And the ball just deceives him. And St. Moctis will look to get it away. They haven't, though. Here's Cameron Domigan with the shot. Oh, that's come back off the crossbar. And has it crossed the line. The assistant on this near side is ideally positioned to have a look at it. And he says no. Signed for St. Moctis in the close season from Crumlin United, along with his brother Liam Brady, who misses out today through suspension, having been sent off in the second round against his former club, Crumlin United. And there's a mistake by Dundalk. Here's Garrett McCaffrey, and he's rounded Jates, and he's equalised. And St. Moctis are level, and it's that man, Garrett McCaffrey. He scores goals for fun in the Leinster Senior League, and he's got one here. Excellent finish, very, very composed. Took his time, go around Cameron Yates and finished it well. But again, the dog architects their own downfall. In complete control of the ball. I think it was Sam Stanton stood on the ball on the edge of the box. Lost possession of McCaffrey, a wonderful finish. Gary McCaffrey doesn't need a second invitation to score. He's got 13 now from eight games this season so far. Scored 30 last season. And he's well on his way to that tally in 2021-22. Here's a free kick for the Lily White. Sean Murray to take it to the back post. Sonny Natastan is there and rises but just can't get control in the header. And that'll be a goal kick for the visitors. But Ben Amaro with a, a bad idea and with the first touch. And it's really well kept in by Jarkovskis. Nice turn by Ben Amaro. And he's checked inside. And he's found Sam Stanton to dock appealing for a penalty kick. Amaro stayed down. The ball eventually found its way over to Han. He could do nothing with it. Yurkovskis throw it. Sean Murray with the nod down. There's a mistake there by Summers, is it? And the shot from Stanton. Really well saved in there by Adam Kmet. Excellent save. That ball was travelling by Stanton. Here he is again, the Scott. Now it's Ben Amar. Here's Sean Murray. Yurkovskis wants it right hand side. Dundalk tried to work it central instead. Ben Amar pokes it into Stanton. He tries another shot. And Dundalk with a corner take. Good passage of play. McCaffrey, and the ball is staying tight, McCaffrey does well and he's got the cross in, and Dundalk, Cameron Domigan across to just make the block, and the shot over the crossbar. These are the, these are the big nights that these players will talk about for a long time, and they'd love to take a scalp here. Here's Sean Murray now, Murray's cross in, and it's a good one, and it's a really good save by Adam Kmet, it was Pat Huben with the header, headed it down. No. Domigan, right footed delivery. Headed away by Sean Byrne. Nice turn by Ben Amar. And surges into the penalty area. And he's gone down. It's a penalty kick. Sammy Ben Amar with too much for the Moctis defenders. I think it may well have been Byrne with the last touch on the Moroccan. And Dundalk have a penalty kick. But he's done really well there. Again, it was a poor enough ball in by Domigan. Wound out of Ben Amar's feet. And once he got it, he just drove into the box and committed one or two. And again, we mentioned already in the first half that he's very strong upper body and he held off the first challenge and second challenge put him down. And Dock a glorious chance now to get the lead back. Well, 
Ben Amar gave Dundalk the lead in this one. He may well have had a big part to play in giving them the lead for a second time, and he has because Pat Huben has dispatched that pass, Kmet, and Dundalk lead again, two goals to one. Excellent penalty, and Huben has taken up where he left off the last penalty he had. He just smashed it into the corner, and he, even though Kmet went the right way, he was never getting near it. So, so powerful and, and high into the goal. So Dundalk again started the second half very brightly, an early goal. And hopefully, unlike in the first half, they'll, they'll want to build on this now and not allow St. Marcus to come back in like they did in the first half. Well, Oliver Bradley said it in a tweet in that first half. Ben Amar has given certainly signs to the Dock supporters that there may well be something to get excited about here in this player. Yeah, he, he, he had a few moments in the first half where he looked very dangerous. And then again, he picked up the ball. Good, good work beforehand with your cops to link very well. But once he commits people, he has that pace and that power to get around them. And as I've mentioned before, I think when he gets match fit and gets a lot sharper, he'll be an even bigger threat. A lot of the, the skills will work. He'll have that pace to go by people. Here come Dundalk again. Sean Murray. No Pat Huben. Huben, he's found some space for the shot. Huben, oh, and he's drilled that home. Pat Huben, no chance for Komet. Because Pat Huben got that on to his left foot and made absolutely sure. And Dundalk have doubled their lead within two minutes absolutely fantastic footwork by Pat Huben there ball drilled into him along the ground and took it on his back foot and the control just completely threw off Sean Byrne and once he got in there he made absolutely no mistake buried into the bottom corner wonderful flowing move Murray great delivery in and it was just that first touch as he spun opened his body out and buried it at the far corner wonderful goal with him Doc. Pat Huben that left foot that left boot so accurate and true, drilling it past Kmet. Jokovskis, now Stanton, Stanton to slug it. Dundalk seem to have upped the intensity at the start of the second half. There's Sean Murray, and this time it's just outside the other post by the Englishman. And they're starting to re really ask questions now, Dundalk. They're moving the ball a little bit quicker. Throw in is St. Magdas, just in front of the Dundalk bench. And it's a less anxious bench now after those two Huben goals. There's Huben again with the flick on ahead of Noel Murray. Domingan looking to sprint past Shannon. And they found Sean Murray here. And Murray has slipped that into Huben. And that is the hat trick for Pat Huben. Huben the difference in the second half. Three goals. And Dundalk lead by four to one now. Excellent play to really cut the Marcus back four open there. Again, Domingan starting it, driving forward. Good ball into Murray and Pat played a wonderful run there across the back of the centre half and timed it lovely. Murray slipped him in and first time didn't need a touch. Instant finish into the keeper's bottom right hand corner. And second half hat trick for Pat. Pat Huben with his ninth, or ninth goal of the season. And that has very much put Dundalk in control at Oriel Park. So a double change by Brian McCarthy. Dennis Moran, the major reason that St. Moctis are here tonight, being the player that scored the winner in the Intermediate Cup final win over Colester Donacarney. Here comes the dock again. Here's Pat Huben. Can he make it five? He can. Good save by Komet, but it's in the back of the net. And it's Han who's got it on the follow-up. Han jong Woo with his third goal for Dundalk. And Dundalk now lead by five goals to one. Really incisive play there, Sloggett won it back in the middle, again drove forward and Pat Hoban, he's just hungry for more goals, done really well there and put himself in danger with a clash to the keeper and Han following up just tapped it into an open goal and the dock really cutting loose now, it looks like they're going to score and every, every time they get forward at this stage the legs are seen to have fallen off at St Moctis and Difficult for St Moctis at this stage and just after they've made that double change as well, the two players introduced, barely given time to find their feet in the match, and they find themselves a further goal down St. Mark.